What is the fastest you have wiped a smirk off of someone's face in the military? Anthony Ricci In 2006, when I was reactivated to a unit deploying to Iraq, the Army, in a complete mess as usual, suddenly changed the policy regarding prior service medics, making anyone who had not been through the Army's medic program go through it regardless of their previous background. So we former corpsmen, paramedics, and the like, had to be shipped to Fort Sam Houston and tolerate the boot camp style EMT course the Army used as its medic program. I was 47 year old by this time, unimpressive physically, and by military, and my own, standards, a big fat slob. We were yelled at routinely by drill sergeants, with less time in service or grade than I, so it was quite a headache. Adding to the headache was this tall, strong, cocky young man in his mid-twenties. He wore his airborne boots and maroon beret, very proud of his uniqueness. Personally, it seems the Army is very good at dividing itself into cliques by their habit of issuing specialized patches, berets, and boots for so many different specialties. Instead of uniting the Army, these symbols seem to divide soldiers and units, making some soldiers more soldierly than others. Anyhow, he undoubtedly saw me his squad leader, as an over-the-hill guy, and never missed a chance to show it, whether with a smirk or other subtle comment. I nicknamed him Airborne. It was no surprise to me he thought I was a slob. I sure looked the part, and I was old, twice his age even. Further, I'm not really an asshole. I hate fighting, I even hate conflict. In fact, I'm such a chicken, I have trained martial arts for many years just to deal with that fear. Here's a picture of my wife and me after a grappling tournament. Below is a picture of some of us at Fort Sam Houston in 2006. At 5 feet 11 inches, I'm the tallest guy. To my left is a real warrior, John Chapman, former paramedic and Navy corpsman with multiple combat tours as part of Force Recon, shot three times, also forced to go through the Army's basic EMT medic program. To my right are two other soldiers in training, this being their first medical education of any sort. In fairness, at his age, I had the same cocky attitude only 20 years before. Below is a picture of me during my first re-enlistment in the Marines. I was fit, strong, and with an opinion of myself that greatly exceeded reality. Still, I was really annoyed by Airborne, probably because I was humiliated at my own age and sloppiness. A chance to let Airborne know this old man wasn't completely helpless in the face of his maroon beret came soon. It was during our first combatives training, a form of physical training where we'd all be in a large ring filled with chopped up foam rubber as a soft mat and fight slash wrestle using whatever skills, including Brazilian jiu-jitsu, judo, or whatever else we knew. As soon as we were cut loose to partner up, I located Airborne, grabbed him and said, OK, Airborne, let's see what you have. It wasn't much. I took him down with little effort, mounted him, and proceeded to show him how helpless he was, slapping him, very lightly, over and over again to make the point, repeating something like, How badass are you now, Airborne? He was helpless and angry saying I'd surprised him. I led him up to try again, and repeated the process. But like I said before, I hate fighting or conflict. My anger evaporated quickly, 
and I quickly felt ashamed of my immature show of dominance. I softened my tone and said something like, be careful how you size people up based on their age or just because they're fat asses like I am. My words instantly drew me back to myself back in the mid-80s, when I was a cocky young Marine who, during a fit of anger at a really OOLD staff sergeant, 40 years old, brashly vented out loud about how my twenty-something-year-old badass self was going to kick the old man's ass. Master Sergeant Owens, top, a multi-tour, bullet-riddled Purple Heart awarded veteran of Vietnam, overheard me and said, Corporal Ricci, you'd better be careful. Some of them forty-year-olds can still put on quite an ass-beating. I thought to myself, God damned it, Top, you were right. Tim Rostro rightly reminded me of my lack of a conclusion. Thanks, Tim. So here's what happened afterward. Airborne and I didn't become friends or even friendly. However, his condescending attitude stopped and his behavior became cooperative, for which I respected him. He also never did seem to want to engage in combatives anymore. Below is a picture of two Marines I idolized back in 1986, SGT Murray, white long sleeve shirt and hat, top in his purple shirt, still in amazing condition as he must be around 70, and me. Up close, you can still see bullet hole scars in Top's arms. This was taken May 2019. 94.3k views. View 3850 upvotes.